Hello guys, Fred here from Pro Tennis Trader. I hope you're well. Now in this video, I'll be sharing with you my pre-tournament trading strategy, selections for the US Open. So this strategy is one that you can adopt before any tennis tournament begins. Now the general idea is that when you back a player before the tournament starts, their price will shorten as they progress throughout the tournament, and hence, we can take profits along the way. But of course, it's not as black and white as this. You simply can't randomly select any player and expect to make profit from them as they glide through each round of the tournament. You have to have a clearly defined strategy with a risk managed approach. And I've done a video a while back covering this. So please check out that video, which of course the link is in the description box below. But for the purposes of this video, I will just recap on the criteria I look for before going on to show my selections. So I adopt a four point staking plan. So I'll only ever be risking a maximum of four points on this strategy. Now, if you want to know more about my banking strategies and risk management approach, then you can take my free introduction into tra tennis trading course. Now, essentially my trading bank is made up into an overall of 100 points with a four points per match risk strategy. So with the strategy, we are adopting the same level of risk as we would do in a usual tennis trading match. Now, one of the reasons for this strict staking method is due to the fact that very often you may have a number of match risks happening at the same time. And of course, you don't want to run out of your bank to fund your trades due to the funds being tied up elsewhere. So before we move on to how we are going to attribute this four point stake, let's take a look at some pricing. So essentially for this strategy, I classify players into different risk categories, and this will enable us to evaluate the level of risk and therefore calculate the stake for each player that we are backing. So there are four categories. There's category one, which are low risk players. Category two, which are medium risk players. Category three, high risk. And category, category four, very high risk. Now, of course, much like when we are placing any other types of trades, the level of risk is directly proportionate to the opposing level of reward. So with low risk, you get low reward. With high risk, you get high reward. Now, of course, this level of risk is directly relative to probability. So low risk, low reward, higher probability. High risk, higher reward, lower probability. And so this is the criteria that I use to classify players for the purpose of this trading strategy. So for category one, these are players priced under 5.0. Category two, a player's priced between 5.01 and 10.0. Category three, a player's priced between 10.01 and 20.0. And then category four, which are our very high risk players. These are players priced above 20.01. So here is the staking plan for this strategy. Now, please remember, we are only risking an overall trade stake of four points. So this is how I attribute these four points. I'll place one point on a category one player. So this is a player priced under 5.0. I will then place another point on category two players. Now these will be split over one or two players, depending on other criteria. I will then split 1.5 points on category three players. Now this may be over two or three players. And then for the final half a point, I will place this half point on a category four player, and actually split between two to four players. Now these are very high risk, but of course, if it pays off, they are high reward. Okay, so that is the staking plan for this pre-tournament trading strategy. So here are my selections for the US Open. Now, of course, these are my own selections. Feel free to follow them, but you do so at your own risk. This is not financial advice. So first of all, for my category one player, which is a one point on a player under 5.0, I'm going for Alcaraz, priced at 3.25. Category two, which is one point split over one or two players, I'm going for Yannick Sinner, priced at 5.2. And then over in the women's, I am going up for Sphertech, also priced at 5.2. For my category three players, which is 1.5 point split over two players. In this case, it can be two or three, but I'm going for two players. I'm going for Goff at 11. And then over in the men's, I'm going for Zverev, priced at 2.5.
Category 4, which is 0.5 points, over the price of 20.0. Now, I'm splitting this over two players. Now, I am going for Medvedev, who's just marginally under 20, but that's absolutely fine for this strategy. I can see him doing well in this. And over in the women's, we've got much better odds on Os Osaka, um, who I think can actually do quite well here. Now, please be aware that these players are not simply pulled out of a hat. There is a great degree of analysis that goes into selecting these players, including recent form, past performance, in-place stats, and of course, their records on a hard surface. Now, of course, with this strategy, some selections are highly influenced by their prices, but there is a lot more behind the scenes that goes on with these selections. Now, please remember that you need to have a strategy for when you are going to start locking in profit on these selections as the tournament progresses. It's not just a set and leave strategy in the hope that one of the selections will win the tournament. You are looking to lock in profit as the tournament progresses and also keep an eye on who your players could potentially face in the next round. As you might find that a player whose price is shortened may then drift if they're suddenly facing a much higher ranked player in the next round. Now, of course, feel free to follow my selections. But as always, this is at your own risk and I accept no responsibility for any losses incurred. Now, I hope you enjoy the US Open as much as I will. And if you have taken my course already and have not yet signed up to the US Platinum Traders, you can do so by following the link in the description box below, which is protennistrader.teachable.com. Now, please note that enrollment closes on Sunday, the 25th of August. Now, have a good one and happy trading. Now, if you found this video useful, then please do check out my YouTube channel for loads more videos and subscribe to be notified of when I upload new videos. And if you'd like to become a successful tennis trader, then you can start your journey by enrolling on my free video course, An Introduction into Tennis Trading at protennistrader.com. And you can also grab a free copy of my ebook, Tennis Trading, The Ultimate Guide to Getting Started. I'll see you soon.